Hello, this is Ekolka. Today we will take a look at this new electric unicycle with the suspension named the Goad Hero. Over the past year, more than 200 devices have passed through our service center, most of which were electric unicycles. That is why our view is very different from standard users. Since we evaluate a device not by its appearance and characteristics on paper, but by its technical perfection, assembly, and quality of components, before we will ride the Hero for the first time, we decide to put it on the operating table and accurately studied every millimeter of the device, checking engineering and design solutions, and we have something to tell you. Sit back and make some tea. We're starting. When you take the Bagode Hero out of the box, the first thought that comes to mind is that this device is unlike other Bagode electric unicycles. Over the years, the brand has accustomed us to a specific design code that can be found across the entire line of devices, from ACM to Monster Pro. The only model that stood out from this range was the Gotway Nikola. In our opinion, the model is very balanced in terms of price and quality ratio, which unfortunately did not receive any further development. But if we look at what the competitors of the Bagode company produced in 2020 and 2021, it will immediately become clear what inspired the release of the Hero model. Of course, this is Kingsong S18. The Bagode Hero is an attempt to jump on the outgoing hype train by copying the successful and already proven solutions of Kingsong, but using Bagode's strengths, power, and large batteries. As a result, the company releases Bagode Hero in 100 volts version. Kingsong S18 has 84 volts, and with 1,800 watt-hour batteries versus 1,110 watt-hour from Kingsong. The biggest miscalculation of the Goad was that within a year after the announcement of Kingsong S18, the company did not sit idly by, but was actively working on the continuation of the suspension electric unicycle line. In order to get ahead of Kingsong in the fight for the title of the best unicycle with suspension in 2021, it was necessary not only to do the same as Kingsong with S18, but also to bring innovations with a reserve for the future, which Bagode could not cope with. As a result, as we all know, Hero's presentation failed. Sales and weak interest in social media confirm this. At about the same time, Kingsong is showing its new S20 model, which is technically more interesting and cheaper than its competitor, which completely discourages interest even from the biggest Bagode fans. Let's get into the facts and see how Hero can please us. The package includes powerful honeycomb pedals with spikes and adjustable angle. A small detail, but it's a nice feature. Separately, these type of pedals will cost you 200 or 300 euros. Next in the box is a set of jump power pads, the design of which is a bit confusing. The shape allows to be placed only in one position, which in our experience is absolutely not a working solution. Even within the same wheel and one rider, we often have to rearrange the pads due to different types of boots, terrain, or the desire to ride more aggressively. The sides of the original power pads are very hard and cut into the leg at an awkward angle. Perhaps they will suit someone, but personally, I would rather make them an optional solution. Alternative powers on the market cost from 100 to 250 euros. All unicycle brands suffer from assembly problems, especially in the first batches. And fortunately, this problem is solved by tighten and fixing bolts, sealing joints, but when it comes to design mistakes, then in order to eliminate them, you need to reinvent the wheel. Unfortunately, the Bagode product consists of such problems. Let's start with the common problems that probably face every single electric unicycle owner who drove at least a few thousand kilometers. There is punctures or tire wear. In our experience, a standard tire has lifespan around 2,500 to 4,000 kilometers depending on the conditions of use. Sooner or later, you will be faced with the question that it needs to be changed. In models with a suspension, there is a very simple solution for this, a power cable connector near the motor, which allows you to unplug the motor without disconnecting it directly from the control board. S18 has such a system, which significantly speeds up the replacement process and does not force the owner to open the controller. 
Such disassemblies increases the chance of damage to contacts or accidental short circuits, which will lead to a complete replacement of an expensive controller. At the same time, I'm not talking about the fact that the assembly and disassembly time in this case increases dramatically. The GOAT engineers even placed the power cable in a separate covered channel. But when we disassembled it, there was no connector there. So in order to change the tire for the Hero, you will have to spend dozens of hours and pray that all the removed parts will fit back later. This is a separate childhood illness from Bagode. Every time I disassemble the electric unicycle of this company, I swear with obscene language because it is absolutely incomprehensible to me why the cable that should have been short is too long and you have to fold it two or three times to tuck it into some slot, and the cable that should be long is too short and when installed stretches like a string through the entire power board. There is only one answer. When creating new models, the company's engineers will not think about this, and they just take whatever is in the warehouse. The main goal is to reach the connection ports. Everything else no longer bothers anyone. The cables are collected in stacks and attached or boxed up somewhere. Hero goes further, since the model is structurally completely new, and the method of stacking the cables is old then most of the power cables and battery cables are simply pinched or frayed. And this is on a device that has traveled zero kilometers. It's scary to imagine what will happen to these cables after a year of operation. I think that after this, it should not surprise anyone that the wheels will self-inflate or suddenly stop working. The Goad Hero has poor score of water resistance. And the strangest thing is that the company really thought about this issue while developing the device. Under the top cover, there is an aluminum bath with a rubber sealing ring, just so that water does not flow inside through the cover. But Bagode wouldn't be Bagode if it hadn't screwed up a good idea. For example, if you look at how the controllers of the electric scooters are made, there is an aluminum box in which the board is located and control cables come out on one side. The only difference is that scooter controllers do not involve disassembly. They are hermetically assembled and siliconized from all sides, including the holes where the cables exit. As a result, you get a completely sealed box that never opens. The Goad left a huge gap with wires, closing it with some kind of sponge, and instead of an airtight box, we get an excellent sink for collecting any moisture. This is not an engineering flaw, it is a critical error that makes this device unsafe to use. Of course, you can silicone it yourself, but returning to the issue of replacing a tire, disassembling such a box and cleaning it from silicone can become a real headache. The Goad Hero has four 100 volt batteries connected in parallel. Each battery has its own BMS. Typically, such assemblies use two BMS, but here there are twice as many. The increase in price is also understandable, since a good BMS with such characteristics can cost around 100 to 150 euros. The only thing that caused us a question is the material of the battery case itself. It is made of industrial plastic and has a very noticeable gap when pressed. Also, air escaped from some assemblies. This also indicates their non-tightness, which as a result can lead to moisture ingress and failure of the battery at least, or causing a fire at worst. The main competitive advantage of the Hero model might be suspension system. The scheme of work through the links is very similar to the design of the S18, but unlike the S18, in a free state when the shock absorber is not inflated. It moves very tightly. In theory, the whole structure should slide smoothly along the guides with minimal resistance. The links themselves are also simply swirling into bolts with washers. Perhaps this particular unit prevents the suspension from sliding normally. The unicycle is equipped with a shock absorber of an unknown manufacturer, on which there are no identification marks, instructions how to set it up, or how much pressure to pump. Also, it has only one pumping valve. Seems that we will be able to install a branded shock absorber and compare the performance with the original. A separate video will be released about the riding characteristics of the Hero. The guide system is similar to that of the EXN and does not inspire any confidence. 
Already from the box, rust and some kind of grease are visible in those places where it should not be. There is a suspicion that with active use in off-road conditions, all this will clog up very quickly and stop working. The Bagode Hero has a hollow motor, but not the same as RS model. Rather, it reminds me of the in-motion V11 motor, with a small bearing that falls apart in a couple of hundred kilometers. Time will tell how it will work for the Hero. The bindings and bolts show that the electric unicycle was being assembled in a hurry. Under some bolts there are lock washers, under some of them there are not. The thread lock is absent almost everywhere. During assembly, some components do not fit well. The assembly of the suspension from guides to links raises more questions than answers. So what do we get for 3,000 euros? Pros? Good pedals, comfortable handle for transportation, the shape of the upper plastic that allows you to sit on the wheel without an additional saddle, 100 volts wheel with a 1,800 watt hour battery, actually the level of the M Super Pro 2020. Cons. Big questions about the safety of this device. Pinched cables, lack of minimum moisture protection, not sealed batteries, a hollow motor in which you will likely have to change bearings for better ones, and this is 150 to 250 euros per pair, as well as unknown durability and performance of the main feature of this device, its suspension. We will definitely find answers to all unanswered questions in the following videos. Subscribe. We make only high quality content.